Hello, today I'm going to use, I'm going to be making some clusters and here I'm going to show you how I use them first. So you know what I mean. Here's one I've used on the left hand side of this page. It goes so well and I just simply glue it on. I have them all ready to go and I have some here as well. And I've got, i used quite a few in my little magazine spine journal, this one. Uh, that's one. Let's see if I can find some more. I know that was one as well. Um, I think that might have been one that I added a bit to as well. Not that. Um, not. I don't think that was one. It might be, I'm not sure. Can't quite remember now. Oh, I'm quite sure that was. That definitely is, yes. So they're quite useful to have in advance. There are some things I really find handy to have ready to go. Clusters is one of them and my collage papers is another. So what I've got on my desk are piles and piles of scraps. I think I mentioned this before. It ev it's ever growing. <laughs> I've got tons and tons of these pieces and they're too lovely to throw away. And so what I do is um, I have a little session making some clusters and then I can just pop them into my journals as little embellishments. They're perfect for that. Oh, and they're nice for tags as well and ATCs. So all sorts of things, all sorts of uses for them. So I've got my pile of scraps. And basically what I do is I begin to put things together, things that coordinate color wise, shape wise. Uh, I like a bit of variety. And so I've sped this up a little bit because I do quite a few. I think I did 14 in the end. Well, I think I found one or two that I'd already had on my desk. So this is what I do. I put the pieces down so they overlap and go off the edge and things. And I quite like to have, those are mostly vertical. So now I'm going to pop a piece in that's horizontal. Do you see what I mean? And so all I do is simply glue them all together. I just put dabs of glue stick because later on, You'll see I sew them and that kind of finishes them off. Oh, I love bits of fabric. I like to have rough edges. I'm all about the edges at the moment, have you noticed? Um, so yes, bits of frayed fabric are delightful. So I'm just using a magazine here that um, was sent to me in the post. Of course, I've gone through and taken out bits and pieces that I can use. It has great words like um, art and things like that in it. So, of course, they get cut out and added to my little box of words. And all these bits and pieces would have gone in the bin, but I can't. I can't throw them away. I think I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> I uh, quite like torn edges, but I also quite like uh, hard edges every now and then, so I vary that up as well. Do you do this? Let me know down below if you make clusters. I've just watched a video that um, Roxy Creations did from last year, and she, she, what she did was much better. I wish I'd watched this before I did these. She actually had a sheet of paper, and then she did the clusters on this one sheet of paper. Then she sewed all of them and then tore them out. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that next time. I love bits of textured paper. This is some corrugated paper from some cardboard. What I do is I soak it, and then I take it apart, and I keep the corrugated bit and glue that down. It gets a bit squished when I sew it, but... It still has the texture there. And for some reason, I love putting on half butterflies. They're just great. Just love those. And once they're sewn down, it, they look great. They really do. This is a quite a fairly thick piece of watercolour paper that had something on it. So I think I must have cut an ATC out and that was left over. This is a bit of recycled sari silk ribbon, which I'm going to put on top. But on top of that, to knock back the brightness of the yellow, I'm going to put some of the gauze or the cheesecloth or muslin, whatever you call it. I put that on a lot of things, if you haven't noticed. Now, see, this piece has very hard edges all the way round. And I don't mind that. Another muslin is going on. The other thing I like to do with these is when I use them in something like an ATC or something, I'll put my word or my phrase going across these. And that looks really good. 
Oh, I love a postage stamp. I'm using this a lot at the moment. There. I love the way that goes over the edge. I'm going to add something to this, am I? Looks like it. <laughs> Another piece of this is the sum of Lisa's deli paper. Now this stuff is far too precious to throw away. Um, I love this paper so much. So every little scrap gets kept and used where possible. This is a nice piece of paper with already with some interesting images on. I'm going to put some muslin over the top of that. Um, that's a piece of jelly print. I think it might not be actually. It might just be a piece of scrapbooking type paper. Yes, I think it is. It's a lovely deep purple. That is a piece left over from one of my collage papers. That's a jelly print. This is some lovely dyed deli paper. And this is going to be another piece from one of my collage papers, I do believe. Now these little uh, twiggy bits are from, I make masks when I'm doing gel printing. I love using masks and stencils for gel printing. And the masks get used again and again and again. They're just cut out from light, very lightweight card. It's almost thick paper. I cut them out and I use them and use them and they get layers and layers of acrylic paint on them. And they're just lovely. I use a couple of those actually. Because what I do is I just clip little bits off. So that is some handmade type of silk paper with some deli paper and a little bit of a gel print. I'm sorry, a bit near the edge of the screen. I do remember and move further inside the screen now. I think it's at this stage. No, I'm carrying on over there. Sorry about that. There we go, I've remembered. Oh, look at that, I just love it. I can't decide between the green and the purple. I go for the purple in the end. And all I need to do is cut myself out some more of these for when I next do some jelly printing. Oh, I love that one. I think that's one of my favourite uh, clusters there. A bit of gel print and some muslin. Love those rough edges there. Gorgeous. I must do some um, dyeing of my muslin so I don't have only that one colour. I think I'd like a range of colours. A little postage stamp, very colourful one that I like from Australia. This is one of my collar, a piece from one of my collage papers. I tear off bits that I like and then I get these interesting bits left over, which of course I don't throw away. I was going to put this little bit of book page down, but I don't like it's got a greasy smear on it, so I changed my mind about that. I'm going to use this bit of recycled sari silk. See how I roughed up the edges a bit. Yes, I'm going to put book page instead in that place. It's a bit more visually interesting anyway. That's going to be good. Don't know why I've pulled that one out. That's another one I think I already had on hand. Well, I think I might use one of my half butterflies on this one. Yes, could claw that down. Put the sari silk on. Can you see the bracelets I'm wearing? That's one of the ones I made in my um, bracelet video. I love it. I made one for my sister as well for her birthday because she requested it. I wasn't sure whether it was her taste, but she wears it when she's around me, so I think she likes it. I'm glad to say. 
This one is some, I'm going to pop on a little bit of print, um, a stamp that my friend sent me. I love these little face stamps. I use those a lot when she sends them to me. I'm going to pop this butterfly on that little piece up the top, uh, top right hand corner there. This one. There, I like that. It's already got some stitching on. That was one I'd done before, but I didn't feel it was finished. That's a nice, nice piece of paper there. That's a piece of my collage paper, a bit of corrugated and a bit of book page. Let's see what we can make with these. This sort of art making is such fun. It's just a simple, simple thing. And I found it kind of, find it kind of restful as well because I'm not aiming to make a perfect page. I can just chill and enjoy the process. I can recommend that if you're feeling a bit stressed about, you know, feeling you've got to do a perfect piece of artwork, don't. Just do something fun instead. And then you've already got these ready for when you are ready to do a piece of finished artwork. That's what I like about the collage papers. I'm going to link down below. I've mentioned them about a million times. I'm going to link them down below in my video. If you haven't seen it, when I'm talking about my collage papers, I've done a, I've done a couple of videos on how I make and use them. So I'll link that down below. If I forget, give me a nudge. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Absent-minded at the moment. I think I've got so many things going on. I'm trying to build my Etsy shop. I'm trying to build my Patreon. And it's um, it's a lot of work, actually. I also like to, um, I've not been doing so well at it, but I like to maintain uh, my presence on Instagram as well. There's so many things to do with social media nowadays. Ooh, I do run out. Oh, I love this piece of trim. trim. Julie, my friend, sent me this and I love it. Do you know, I've been hoarding it as well. It's one of those things that I hoard. Now, here they are. I've done all the sewing and I'm just trimming off some of the pieces, but I'm not going to, I'm going to leave some of them long. I love that piece. That's my favourite. Quite fond of this one as well. And these I've sewn up along the stem. I don't do that with the ones that haven't got stems, obviously. This I've just done some zigzag. Sorry, I've gone slightly off the page there. Love this one. This is one of my favourites. I'll show you them all lined up and laid out in a bit. I quite like this one as well. It's unusual. I'm sure I'm going to use that in something. This one turned out nicely as well. Now in this uh, session I've used, it's a very, very dark, dark, dark blue uh, sewing thread. But in another session, I will change the bobbin and have different colours so that I've got a choice. So I quite like having a dark thread and sometimes I like quite having um, a cream thread. And sometimes I like some bright coloured threads. So that's something I vary from time to time. Love that one. <laughs> I do love that face. And I just sewed on there because I'd already had the stitching on. That was a simple one. Love how that came out. Love it. I'm gonna just chop these pieces off. Gorgeous. I'm not sure about this one. I love the colours on it, but the twiggy bit is a bit weird. So I'm going to try and lay them out. I'm going to zoom out now if I can get that right. I always do it wrong. I always zoom in before I zoom out or zoom out before I zoom in. So I'm just laying them all out. So here is a bunch of clusters. So do let me know if you do them or if you're going to, if you don't, and you're going to start now. So I've got those on my desk. And do you know what? My scrap pile, you'd think it would um, get a bit smaller, wouldn't you? It hasn't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed sharing with you. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like. It helps my algorithm for YouTube. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I do love reading what you have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.